first of all we place the tourniquet 8 to 10 centimeters above the chosen site so in this case it's the ACF of the right arm the antecubital fossa we make it quite tight ask the patient to hang their arm down by the side and we can ask them to open and close their fist that helps distend the veins and helps fill up with blood and we take our cannula take the sheath off the needle and I would take off the white Lua lock cap so that it's easier to put on later or you can just loosen that cap and then from our chosen vein we take our 70% alcohol wipe and clean the site thoroughly So then we take our cannula, in this case we're using a 24 gauge cannula, you see the yellow cap, 10 to 20 degrees to the skin, so quite an acute angle, insert the needle 2 to 3 millimeters into the vein, and then we hold the needle at the back still, hold the wing on the left hand side, and slide the catheter down the needle and up into the vein. Once we've slid it all the way to the hub, we take the tourniquet off, remove the needle and screw the lure lock cap on. And you'll see some blood there in the flashback chamber. Then we flatten the wings, they haven't been flattened already. And then usually we would put some secure strips over the wings. But if you don't have those, then you just use your tegiderm patch or equivalent. So here we've just got a tegiderm patch with a little slit up the middle which just goes over the top and secures the wings down but ideally you would use secure strips and then a tegiderm patch or equivalent over the top then once this is secure in place we can then flush with 0.9% saline for example So next here we've just got a short video so you can see the flashback in the cannula when it goes into the vein. So this is an, an ACF as well, needle going in 10 to 20 degrees to the skin, needle goes in a few millimetres until you're in the vein. Once you're in the vein you'll see we we'll move the hand out of the way now and you'll see flashback in the flashback chamber at the back of the cannula so if you look carefully where the finger and thumb are grabbing there see that flashback so that's blood and then when you advance the cannula into the vein keeping the needle still you get a second flashback in the catheter itself see in the tube going into the arm and then advance the cannula all the way to the hub 